83 sure feels a lot nicer than 100 degrees, right? A 17 degree difference in Denver within 24 hours. The National Weather Service uses a special system out at DIA to record the temps we hit in the Mile High City. We couldn't even begin to explain to you how this thing works, so Lori Lizarraga went out and found someone who could. The freezing rain sensor at Akron. This is Mike Gonzalez. Um, he works at the right. National Weather Service. I get to do all of the in-depth, intricate troubleshooting, maintaining, calibrating uh, for the WSR 88D that we have, KFTG. Don't worry, I don't know what any of that means either. In layman's, it's radar and weather sensors, plus a little bit of computer work. Mike is an electronic technician in Boulder, and his work revolves around ASOS. It stands for Automated Surface Observation System. It looks like the North Pole, but it's actually the largest, most modern complement of weather sensors in the country. It's, it's, a, it's a bunch of sensors that do individual things that work together to paint us a picture of, I mean, an accurate picture of what the environment actually is at the time. All the sensors work nonstop, updating observations every minute, 24 hours a day, every day of the year. Oh, I've got the temperature, I've got the dew point, I've got the wind speed, I've got, you know, the visibility. With ASOS, temperatures like yesterday that break records are never missed. But you might miss the ASOS network if you're not looking. The people that see them the most are actually people looking out their window when they're taking off or landing. You may or may not see it, but you, again, you'd have to know what you're looking at. For next, I'm Lori Lizarraga.